Smite's newest god name? Clod Hina. Clod Hina. Clod Clodina, obviously. Cleodna? Cleodna. Cleod Cleodna. Chlorine. That makes sense! another soul lane play by play oh yeah and my name's alec i forgot to tell you guys that and i'm gonna be playing the cleod cleona cle cleana cleana kleenex Chlor chlorine chloroform i'm playing her she's a new character added to smite she's a physical assassin she is very very cool i am actually pretty excited with her release and i think that she's pretty unique and had some uh fun stuff going on in her kit i've played her in one game i played her in a jungle practice then i played her in one conquest game and uh yeah so that is the extent of my knowledge so far. I have a rudimentary understanding of her kit, but um, you know, we're gonna learn together and I can kind of explain some stuff to you guys if you're trying to figure out what to do with her. You know, first time getting in the game and everything, but um, this is also the, also the patch where Sigil, warding Seagull as I like to call it, so people get triggered by that, is buffed. So we're gonna go ahead and try that out as well. She does have four damaging abilities, so Bluestone could definitely work on her as well, but I think with this start, we'll do something like this. Somebody did this in my recent game and I thought it was pretty pretty good. I think we're going to be up against an Arthur. Hopefully it's Arthur and not Cleodna, because I don't want to play a mirror match. Mirror matches are literally the worst and the most unfun thing in my, in my opinion. Um, and uh, I guess we'll go beads, yeah. Unfortunately, we can't get a chance with this start, but it's pretty strong. And look at the map. It's a snow map. Pretty awesome, right? What is Terra doing? Go right, Terra. Wrong side. Okay, okay. <laughs> She's on the wrong side of the map. Honestly, it's the the snow is probably throwing her off. But the, this snow is really cool. This is some of the new additions um, to the game. It's the conquest map that they've added. So yeah, your one is probably going to be your first ability you level, and also what you're going to you know max for clear in the old soul lane. It's a pretty decent clear. Sorry. And um, you can group it away with it. Let's see if I can do this. If I can one him. Oh, I didn't hit him with that. Okay, I did. I did. I don't know if I'm going to be able to clear him though. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to. I'm gonna have to run here. On my way. Oh, I'm gonna get poked pretty hard, but just Arthur clear with bluestone. Didn't have enough damage to full clear the wave. I'm gonna put point my two so I can try and poke him with that. It gives me my invis. It gives you a lot of movement speed as well, so it's quite nice. Um, but yeah, like I said, I, I actually really like this uh, this kit. It's pretty cool. It's very smooth. It's fun. You can cancel her abilities, which is always nice. I think it's always lame when you have channeled abilities on characters and you're not able to actually cancel them. It just feels so bad. I'm gonna let this go under tower. Can't full clear quite yet. Don't want to get poked by it because I don't have a lot of extra pots either. She is a melee character because she's a physical assassin, but she feels like she should be a mage. She reminds me of Morgan Le Fay, especially with her autos and her line abilities, but I don't know. It, it does feel a little bit weird that she's a, uh, a melee character. I don't know. Something about it just seems off. So that's her dash, which you can cancel, and you get a little swipe damage at the end, which is pretty nice. I'm actually pretty tanky this early on with this sigil. I can actually probably kill this guy. And with the silence here, this should be a kill. Try and get an auto cancel in. Nice. I messed up the three uh, slash damage. It's a little bit awkward because it can go past him, and then you kind of have to like turn around. It's very fast. So that's something you got to... Be on the lookout. You don't want to max your two. Like I said, you want to max your one. The reason you don't max your two is because it stops on minions. So if you throw it at the, the melees, you're actually just going to not even be hitting archer. So still want to max the one. It does suck that it's channeled, but you know, like some stuns and fears and stuff are going to interrupt it. But the thing is, it has knock up immunity on it. So a lot of characters are going to be hurt by that. Be able to counter them pretty hard. Try and silence this guy. Got him with the auto cancel. Help! The three cancel as well. Oh no. Lena's still level three, so let's see if we can do this. Hopefully we can just burst this. I have 30 power with this start, which is pretty insane. Your two does hit an AoE, so you can clear the phantoms with that. He took a tower shot, so that's unfortunate he died. We almost killed him on his way back, but at least we'll get the blue for it. It's good enough for now. This does push minions back as well, so that's another good part of it. That's uh, especially good for clearing. So I think I'm actually just going to go Jotuns and then a full tank build. The reason I'm playing her in solo, like every new character is... I want to test if they're uh, viable as a tank or as a bruiser, whatever you want to build them as. I think this character specifically is going to be 
Uh, she needs to be more of a um, a bruiser, built more damaging because she's an assassin and her scaling is pretty good, but her base damage really isn't that great, and uh, she doesn't really have any CC and much utility at all. So you kind of need to be able to do damage to people to actually be useful. And if your base damage isn't high enough, like you would be on like uh, a lot of other warriors or maybe some guardians, then you're kind of just relying on that um, that damage kind of build. But it is very annoying. It's very hard to kill this character with a tank build. That's something I, I've realized already. Um, you feel very hard to kill, especially because you can go in walls. That's something I haven't even showed you guys yet. To be fair, I haven't really needed to use it. <laughs> at least had a use for it, but I can show you guys here in a second. I'm actually going to maybe ult this wave. Okay, Susana's doing a loop-de-loop, -loop, trying to get redemption. I'm just going to go ahead and ult this wave. It actually is a really good wave clear ability. I put it on normal cast just to get a better feel for it. So yeah, I think this character is very smooth and very fun. Uh, I will. I do have a couple complaints. Like I said, it kind of feels like she should be ranged for some reason. Um, her three is actually bugged out a few times on me for some reason as well. I have no idea why, but it like it like double hits. It doesn't actually do double damage, but just like plays the animation twice. And I don't know something weird about that. Um, and was there something else I wanted to complain about? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it'll come back to me. I thought there was, but so they look, this is what you can do. You can go into the wall. You take a little bit of damage and it ramps up as you stay in the wall. So you don't want to stay in there too long, but that is something you can do. Very good as a jungler because you can like gank with by going into the wall, which is really, really nice. Catch people off guard. It does give them a little bit of like a sound cue. They kind of see that you're in there. So they should be a little bit aware, but you can still catch some people off guard and there's some things you can do like you can use your abilities while in the wall and your damage immune and cc immune in there obviously not completely damage immune because you take damage while you're in there can't quite hit him with the silence oh we did hit him with the silence okay but yeah i honestly think this character would be pretty cool with like maybe not range com complete range autos because then maybe you could argue she's just a hunter but like maybe some like shorter distance range autos where it goes half the distance of what a, a hunter would have because it, it does feel awkward just having that, that melee um, autos, although maybe it feels a lot better in the jungle. Um, when you're clearing and stuff. Try and hit the whole wave with by pushing those minions back. You do have a bit of a hit chain. Your big uh, auto, your third auto, is uh, 1.25, or 1.5, which is pretty sick. Clear this real quick. Yeah, that's part of the reason I went this build with the Jotuns instead of uh, something else, because I think you kind of need to build uh, some bruiser on her. In order to be really, really useful, but I am gonna go full thing from here, so. Jotun's will all be all we need. Can I hit with the silence? Unfortunately. So, yeah, yeah, there's three parts to the one. You don't actually have to hit the other parts to get the silence, but it does some decent damage and then does some extra damage on the silence part of it. Dang it, didn't mean to do that. If you max the three, it uh lowers the cooldown and goes up in damage, so I think I'd rather do that than put points in the two, considering it only goes up in damage. This goes up in damage and cooldown lowers. Oh, I can silence this. That's nice. Be a little bit careful. He does have a full sob, so he's got some physical D over me. I'm gonna go ahead and clear the way with my ult. He's tanking minions, but it shouldn't matter too much. Oh, we dodged that. Nice. Can we hit him with that at all? It does initial damage. It hits pretty hard and then does some extra damage if you stay in it. Um, honestly, well, I think maybe what I was going to say is that her ult definitely feels kind of over or overwhelming underwhelming in the jungle with a full damage build um, With a full damage build it maybe will hit really hard so you can kind of just get like the, the base damage off and it will just pop but We can win this still it's okay Grab blue. This guy was kind of poked. He did have sob, so he's got some decent healing from blue stone plus sob. The HP five is pretty nice. Try and group up the wave a little bit. You can't really rely on your ult like in a trade. That's one thing because you're you're not gonna hit it most of the time, so it's just not really that great. Try and poke him with that. Oh, what the? It's right there. I'll be good. I'm going for that gank. I do want to clear this wave still, so I'm gonna. Ult. She used both charges of her ult. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. You do have two charges of your ult, so. Just 
Just go ahead and back here. Get to your two mystical. Grab another multi pot. I'm on my way. Can actually go through the wall here to get back to lane. There is a cooldown on the passive as well, so if you use it, then you can't use it again for another 16 seconds. Um, so you got to keep that in mind. If you do try and go into a wall, it'll have a little X on the wall. It'll be like, no, you can't do that. But you can do some things like you can ult out from inside the wall. You can dash out of the wall, which is pretty nice. See, so yeah, I took a little bit of damage because I was in the wall for a little bit. And forge. He has even more physical defense. Jesus, bluestone into defense, or bluestone sovereignty into defense. You can cancel that if you're trying to clear the wave a little bit fast, faster than usual. You can cancel the one as well. It doesn't actually hit the silence though, and doesn't do the last bit of damage. But you still get the swipe if you cancel it. So if I do this, I'll still be able to swipe. So you're very reliant on those auto cancels, like a lot of physicals. So that's something you gotta keep in mind. Wanna try and get those autos off. Ooh, I was trying to hit him plus the wave, but only hit the wave. I really need this mystical. He just has a full defense on item on me for a while now. So he's just out trading me because of that. And he's also Arthur, but I don't think it should be too bad of a matchup. Nice, we're able to hit him with that, and then we'll use that to clear the wave and back up. Unfortunately, as a laner, I just, I, I don't know. Especially as a tank, I just don't really see much use of my ult out of, besides uh, using it to clear waves really fast, because it does do that. And it's also decent at objectives. Especially if you have a full damage build, it'll probably swing on the objectives. You can't go into this wall, though, because you can't go outside the map. So that's something you got to keep in mind. You can only go in all the walls, like, around here. There are quite a lot of them, though, so it's really not that big of a deal. Now that I have Mystical, I might be able to actually trade with this Arthur pretty well. Try and hit him plus the totem here. One shot it. <laughs> it's the totem killer. Cleana, or whatever her name is. Didn't quite hit him with that, but we he stopped his back either way, so that's nice. We want to be using our dash aggressively when we can because, you know, we're putting points into it, so we want to do damage with it. Oh, nice. He uses one right in front of my Oh, Oh, knock him up on Forge. We could probably dive. I can tank for the boy. Nice. Dash back out. The three feels really smooth. I really like it. So we got the kill on him. That was good. We should do the Forpian. Use this Terra Heal to our advantage here as well. Go clear our wave, especially because Arthur's still dead. We want to push this wave under tower. The base damage on the two with only one point, and it's pretty decent. 90 plus 42 from the scalings. Nice, 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 nice. Grab our blue. Arthur is just now running back to lane. I should be able to push one more wave and then back. And what we'll probably do is get... Um, Actually, we don't really need magical defense quite yet because of uh, it's, a, it's just a Morgan and a Ganesh. Go ahead and ult this wave, back up. Remember, you have two charges of that, so I still have one going ready, just in case. Honestly, maybe the two charges thing is why, you know, it's just not that strong, so that's why they have two charges of it. Um, what are we going into? Uh, no, nah, I don't really want to go Glad Shield. Let's see here, maybe we just go Mail of Renewal. Let's try that. I want to try Blink as well, because the staple of any good Frontliner or Initiate or anything like that is being able to be good with Blink. I don't think she really is that good with Blink, to be fair, just because she doesn't really have any instant CC that you want to, like, Blink CC them or Blink do damage. I might be able to gank these guys. Let's see. So this is what I was talking about. You can use some abilities inside the wall. Pretty cool, right? Yes, tank it for me. I don't mind. Boom. That's how it's done. That's what happens when you're able to use the wall to your advantage. Got the ult off and use the one. You can't use your two inside the wall, but you can use your one, your ult, and your dash out of it. Um, I was able to kill the Ganesh. Caught him off guard a little bit. Need to really understand the, the range on that because sometimes it feels like it should go farther than it actually goes. Something else that's in the map now 
So many things to talk about. Something else that's in the map is are these little lamps, which if you kill, it puts this little circle around, and you can get inside, and you're invisible, invisible in it. Kind of like the grass, I think, in League of Legends. I've only played, like, one League of Legends game in my life, so correct me if I'm wrong there, but some wards down. That's pretty good rotation by us. We're still down 2k, but this is definitely winnable. Rhea doesn't think it is, but it is. And we're going to try. So let me keep in mind as well is that I was having some trouble with the three. It's on instant cast, like all my abilities besides my ult. And sometimes I'll click, I'll left click on my mouse after I use an ability that's instant cast, and that's something you definitely do not want to do on this character because if you do it, it will cancel it instantly, and you won't get the whole dash. You want to make sure that you're kind of keeping track of that. I want to defend gold. I could back my mail renewal, but. Get an extra ult. See if I can get my ult off here. Get two ults off. Nice little corridor actually doing a lot of damage. Huge damage, actually. I should be able to kill these boys. No fucking shot. That is actually so unfortunate. The way that worked. I can go into the wall here. And just dash away. My three, uh, some for some reason, actually got canceled early there. I'm going to walk over wards here. I want to try and get them off gold. If Mori comes over, I can try and kill her because she was pretty low. They dropped it. Oh, she's still in mid. Unfortunate. I don't know why my three got like canceled early there. I didn't spam click it, I don't think. But yeah, you got to be careful spam clicking it because you'll cancel it early. And that's definitely not something you want to do when you're trying to chase people out. Our ult actually got a ton of value there. We like did a little crossover with it. Um, go void shield here. Like I said, I think you want to build a little bit more damage. So go void shield, give us some damage. A little bit more physical prot, which we need for their team comp. <clears throat> I think I'm going to end up going infuse sigil as well, because I think that's actually pretty nice. And again, it gives us more damage. So that's nice. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. What was I talking about? Talking about something. Oh, uh, I, I guess I forgot. It wasn't that important. That's what people say. Enemy spotted. Oh, I was saying I got a lot of value out of my ult, which is surprising. You don't usually see that. I have uh, my mystical and my one AoE. We can just go straight to gold. This is really good. Got two picks. Now we can go gold. Try and poke them. Nice. What the hell? This guy's just dashing into me. Attack. Try and cut him off with my ult there. Ooh, Terra didn't hit her stun. <clears throat> Arthur getting a little antsy there. I just walked through that one corridor though, and I just got so much value out of the double ult. I ended up not actually mattering too much for the fight. Look, I'm invisible. Is Rama gonna go in the air? We gotta be careful of that. They shouldn't. We're good. I'm just gonna go ahead and ult there and back away. No, retreat. We're fine. We're fine. No need to fight. I think I think the Rama just Aegis. So that's really good. Go ahead and get Void Shield here. You can go into these other items like Glad Shield Shifters, but you want to have at least one Void Shield on the team. And, you know, if I'm diving with my Susano correctly, even Apollo might die with us. That extra prot shred that I'm going to put in the AoE is really nice. They just need to retreat. We'll get this left out here any second because this is a big wave unless somebody comes to defend it. Retreat. No need to fight. We just got gold. If they're going to go for the tier 2, they're going to go for it. We're not grouped for it. That magma crack. <laughs> got the tower, which is good. Just going to drive by these camps as I rotate here. Put them on cooldown. Nice job. We can actually punish this guy for sure. I'm going to try and go into the wall here and look for a gank. Hello. <laughs> That's pretty cool. We could probably kill these guys. Or this Ganesh. I have blink for him. Hit him with that. Nice. Let's see if we can get another one. That was sick, dude. So clean. This character is so clean. Something. Oh, yeah. What I was going to talk about. Oh, wait. What are you doing? I don't think this Terra's going to die. She's fine. 
I was going to talk about Charybdis compared to this character. This character is so much more fluid, so much more fun. And, like, I just... And then Charybdis is just, like, this kind of clunky, just bad character that actually might end up being good after the buffs. And the only reason she's going to end up being good is because her numbers are crazy and the fact that she just, for some reason, has an instant damage immunity and CC immunity in her kit that lasts for, like, four or five seconds. I don't even know how long it lasts. And I just... It's kind of more of like a philosophical, philosophical discussion. Who's Phil and why is he sophically? Um, just more of a philosophical discussion talking about like design and stuff. Like I don't like when characters feel really horrible to play and they're not smooth and they, and they're clunky. And the only reason they end up being viable is because they're just buffed into you know fucking into the heavens because they're not ever played because of the the clunkiness that I'm talking about. You know, and I kind of feel like that's maybe where Charybdis is going, and I kind of dislike that. Whereas this character. Her, you know, her numbers may be a little bit bloated, especially as as a damage character. I'm not entirely sure, but at least she just feels good to play. She has something like new going for her that's really cool. Um, you can cancel her abilities, which is awesome. I think that's always a plus. And like, I don't know. I just much prefer that. And then if they are too strong, then you can always just, you know, nerf their numbers and they'll still feel good to play after. This should be a kill. I'm like glitched because of the terror wall, unfortunate. And with that, I'm gonna beat that. Oh, okay. There's four people there. <laughs> Wait, what the heck? They said missing, but I didn't think there would be four people there. That's too bad. Well, I mean, he's gonna be able to get the tier two. He can have Paul ults over. It should be coming up any second now, so. Defend. Go, Apollo. Oh, he's oh, it's still not up. I'm saying go. Oh, he pre he pre beats the Mez. It was pretty like telegraphed. Like he saw that for a while and he didn't have to Mez into it. Unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. That Paul wasn't up in time for that. It looks like they're gonna be able to get that, which is definitely rough. Arthur didn't get it, so that's one benefit or positive out of that. It's still a close game though. We're only down 2k. No problem. We can still fight these guys. I'm going to have my infused sigil here, which is nice. Uh, I'll try and go grab my blue as well. I definitely want that because I don't have a lot of mana sustain. All right, infused online. So they buff this. They buff the sigils and they also buff the uh, upgrades, which, you know, this obviously has 50 power on it and it had zero power before. So that's really nice. I think they also buffed the passive or something. I'm not, I don't remember exactly but what i do know is that they did change something about it and now does physical damage since you can only buy this on physicals they made it so it does physical damage um which is actually a surprisingly big buff for physical characters because before you couldn't build any uh you couldn't build any pens so that your sigil would actually hit or you could on magicals that's why i played so many so many games that serve us with infused and it was so sick because your prot shred on your serve two would just make your infused do true damage but now you can actually build pen for your infused i like for example, I have pen right here, and I have it uh, prot shred on my void shield, which is just going to be very strong for my infuse. So that's another little benefit of my build path so far. Pridwin still does magical damage, so that's something you got to think about. You can still go it, and it's still really strong, but I can have that goal. We don't want to fight that, I don't think. Even though we're only down 3k, we might have been able to fight that, but just retreat. No need to die. Just getting some split push farm in. I am level 20, but I'm not going to fight it anyway. Maybe it'll force somebody to back. The 2 gives you move speed, but you have to hit somebody with it. So it's not like Morgan Le Fay 3, which gives you move speed no matter what you do. You just have to use it. Okay, they finally got gold. Kind of took them a while, so we're kind of in a fine spot. Should be fine. There's a Mori right here. Enemies in right lane. I can see her through the wall here. That's kind of crazy. We can probably kill this guy. Can I hit him with this? Always oh, one HP. I got sundered. I should be fine though. I got the extra movement speed. I'm surprised that Mori didn't die. She did use both actives, but Try and heal real quick before they push anything. They'll probably just go tier two. Ori beads a guess. 
Um, and then last item, I'm thinking we're gonna go Pridwin, so we'll wait to get that. Enemy ultimate down. Can't afford the tier one, obviously. Unfortunately, we can kill the Mori. That was so close, though. Get the silence off on this guy, at least. That's nice. Try and hit a nice little ult off here. Try and zone him. Didn't really do much, but... Not a lot of damage off with the Terra. That guy's silenced. Gotta be a little bit careful. This guy have crit. Okay, maybe we have to go Spectral last item, actually. No problem. Okay, so they're up 7k now. If they get both those towers, they're gonna be about 10k. So that is definitely a little bit rough, but... Nothing we still can't come from behind on. I'm not gonna have a lot of magical defense, but it's still just a Mori, so hopefully it shouldn't matter too much. Look at this, I can put one here. This one, I don't know. I think they're all kind of useless, but it's just kind of cool that they add stuff like that. They think about it, you know. Or he has no active, so maybe we can catch her out here. Oh, she was literally right there. I should have, I actually would have stopped her if I didn't cancel my three. Even though we're down 9k, their fire's off them, so if we catch them by surprise here with a fight, we actually might be able to win it. If we group up here, we might be able to do something. I'm gonna maybe try and go into a wall as well. Mori has no actives. Oh no, this guy's just probably dead. Unfortunate. I was gonna try and get him by going to the wall there, but... Everybody's barely losing their freaking fights. Mori invis somewhere. In order to get your full one off, you kind of need to be tanky. If you're just like full damage, there's no way you're going to get your full one off. So I guess that's one benefit of going tank. But the thing is, just not going to hit that hard. There's a Mori somewhere. Oh, a male renewal proc. Is that because of his blue stone? Alright, we don't have to defend that. It's not enhanced and our boys are dead, so it's just going to be a losing fight either way. And we'll probably lose the game off it if we die, so we'll just give that up. Farm up a little bit more, try and get our spectral, which is going to be very important to have for the siege. So I can actually zone out this Rama, hopefully. Pretty close to having it. If I get purple, I'll be able to get it. I can also just sell my sentry. Alright, drop that. I probably should have just taken red. I thought somebody might be able to get to it. Like, how are these people? <laughs> Why are they dying there? Oh, she blinked. Got a lot of damage off, actually. Even more damage off. I'm gonna ult beads that and ult it so I can get all this damage off. We're doing so much damage. How is nobody dead? I mean, I'm still full HP, but... Be careful. We actually popped off there, especially with the Terra ult. But... And it would have been fine, too, but... I, I don't know. Our Apollo died near a speed buff. He knew they were coming, and... I don't know why the people are pulling up into that. It's okay. Got the left Phoenix. Still not unwinnable. Not unwinnable. You got to keep your head in it. Maybe if I was more comfortable on this character, I'd be carrying harder, but. One thing about carrying as well, guys, is that you kind of, in order to carry people, you also have to shock call. So that's something you should practice. I've been trying to do it this game a little bit, but <clears throat> it's just been, it's been a rough game. We're gonna be on gold. We're gonna give him quite the gold lead, but we can get him maybe a mid tower here, which is nice. The guy has one HP. Nice try by the Susano. There's a Mori somewhere around there. He can't kill me just because I don't have a lot of magical defense, and he's you know he can be two people. <laughs> no transform. Paul's getting some farm, which is much needed. Clear these backs. Try and grab this blue before they push mid. 
Looks like they... Oh, they're in right. I'm on my way. Oh, I'm on my way. That is so unfortunate. They just ran it down. Nobody was there to see where they would be. I'm going to be late to this. Looks like we're okay for now. Terry did a good job stalling. Oh, unfortunate. More just gonna end up killing me. There's too many people on me. I wanted to test my damage there, see if I could 1v1 that Rama, but... Oof. He used his Aegis and it was too much for me. Then the Mori stunned me in them. Well, that's gonna be game. Unfortunate, they were just kind of on the uh, the Phoenix and nobody knew and I was at the blue buff. I probably should have backed, but I thought that they would probably back after they did gold and spend their money, but they didn't. So that is unfortunate. It was like, it was like a, a decent game though. I mean, they obviously won pretty hard, but still got to see what Cleona, Cleona could do. It was pretty fun. What we'll probably do is we'll probably get another gameplay in here. So uh, I'll play another one and uh, see what we can do in that one as well. Check out the stats at the post game though. We'll try out a different build in the next game as well, just kind of mix it up, see what we, see what we're feeling. Oh, um, we ended up doing 34k damage, not too bad, but we'll go again. I'll see you guys in the next game. All right, guys, we are back with the other gameplay using the recolor again, which is pretty cool. Fun. I hope I'm not. I hope I'm not in a mirror match. <laughs> like I said, beginning of the last game, that is the bane of my existence. We're actually against Paul. Paul's an enemy team playing the Elderun, who got some big buffs this patch. Can no longer be reduced by Spectral, his crit. Um, and uh, I think they also increased his 2 damage on consecutive hits. And maybe something else, I don't know. Unfortunate. Okay, so last game we did the, the Sigil. Let's try the Bluestone now, because like I said, it is definitely viable on her just because she has four damage abilities and we'll go beads i don't know what else to go and i think maybe what we'll do this game is go um just pure tank like literally straight up tank apart from bluestone that will be our only item everything else i'm just going to go into tank like i'll literally just go bluestone mystical uh breastplate or something try that oh shoot sec yeah i can say hi i just wasn't ready the thing spawned right in front of my face my clear was actually better better with Sigil and uh, Tier 1 Jotuns. Not surprised because you get 30 power. I'm not streaming right now. Oh shoot, I went to the wall. Oh, I guess that works. So uh, this mirror match is actually kind of interesting because... Whoever uses their one first is screwed. Actually, you know, whoever uses their one second, if you use it like right, set, right after... It's bad because uh, they're going to end up silencing your, your one. <clears throat> so we almost got the kill there. It was pretty close. Just as he went out clear, killed two of the front melees first before him. So I hit level two. I think maybe caught him off guard a little bit. Is that the wave? Is he waving? I don't have it, apparently. Three does some pretty good damage. Oh, hopefully they didn't lag out. I think they did there for a sec, but they're back. Could have killed him, but we well, ain't like that. On my way. I am off sc off screen. I kill everybody when they're lagging out off screen. <laughs> I actually have some kill potential here. Oh, are they lagging out again? Oh, so close. He has Warrior's Axe, so maybe stole a little bit of health there and then did it to me as well. Two does not go that far. Holy cow, triple kill. Guy popping. So we went all these extra pots just because it's kind of the go-to these days just for all the extra sustain. And you kind of have to stay out a lot longer than you used to because no boots, right? So look how long that dash is. So it's nice to have that, even though it doesn't give you that double sustain. If you're not going to be fighting in the wave, it's fine. Like you don't need the double sustain, so. Maybe we can go for this blue. Thantos is still level one. Let's see. He's really poked. I wish I had a vision shard. I'm pretty safe, all things considered, considering I can walk into the... Okay, looks like he's backing. I should be able to just get this. Nice, he just burst that. Get a little auto cancel off. Get all the bluestone procs. I can just do this, is what I was saying. I can just walk into the wall and I'll be fine. Oh, so he has TP, so that's what he's doing. I can't see his item. Oh, he didn't get an item. Interesting. That's all of his abilities. I should be good. 
All visibility is down, so I'm fine. I was trying to, I'm trying to bait a little bit for this pass attack, because you might be able to gank and kill. I am low health, so I gotta be careful with Thanatos. Try and burst this before you walk in. Nice. Can I get into the wall again? Enemy I can. What the heck? Let me out of here. <laughs> okay. All right, I have my ult now, so I can clear waves with that, which I'm gonna go ahead and do, because I don't want to walk up to that wave. I still have another charge of that, so I can use it on the next wave. Honestly, the more I think about it, like with these ults and using them to get pressure on waves, it's pretty nice. Like you have a lot of uh, a lot of ways to play the lane off of that. Go ahead and ult that wave as well. He ults his wave as well. I still have an extra health pot, so I don't have to back quite yet, and I don't think I'm going to. I think maybe they messed up and didn't buy their tier one item. Because why wouldn't they have bought it? I want to get mystical, but I'm still a ways away. If I get that plus totem. What's well, the next wave? I'll still need one more wave after that, so that's a little bit rough, but... I do have my ult. Ooh, okay, so I'll just clear this wave like normal right here. And then I will um, maybe ult the next wave. So I can just get all that pressure in back. Not gonna be able to invade this next blue, still haven't back for my item. Don't want to invade without my power spike. Aw, oh, damn it, that's down. I'm gonna try and go do my sharpie. Ult the next wave, back. They're in lane, going into, it looks like a Sledge or a Blackthorn. They're ulting the wave. Double ulting the wave, you don't need to double ult it. They have like no kill potential on me, so I'm just gonna do that and then back up. Should be able to get back in time for my blue buff, which is about to spawn. We get a full mystical here, and we still have our challenge, so we're feeling good. Have another recharge to ult once again. So, this is actually a pretty good build into Mystical, all things considered. Just a lot of health, a little bit of magical defense on the Warrior's Axe. If they went something more like, you know, Breastplate or Bluestone into, you know, something else, they just wouldn't have a lot of magical defense, so. And then my Mystical would own them. There are people around here. We need to be a little bit careful. Got a nice ult off, actually. We should go in. They're really low. This guy's not level 5. I'm gonna beads that just in case. Oh my god, this Bastet's just getting triple kills everywhere. Oh, sorry. I want to give him another triple kill. <laughs> she wasn't level 5, the, the Kepri that wasn't level 5 is what I was trying to say. So, they just didn't have their Kepri ult for that, so kind of just free pickings. And then I'm level, you know, level 8, a little bit ahead of that Thanatos. I have a full Mystical, so I'm not gonna insta-die. If I didn't have a defense item there, he would have one-shot me with his Scythe, and then I would have been feeling sad, because I would have definitely gotten killed by the Execute. This is awkward. I'm just gonna go and ult this. I couldn't finish it off, and I don't want to be sitting here for too long. Don't want to get ganked. I just got those on cooldown. Mystical is such a strong item. I'm on my way. We can actually rotate mid here with our proxy. Maybe turn the tides of this fight. So low. That's his Kepri ult, so that's good. Wonder if I can snipe him with my ult. Nah, he's not going to be in range for that. Could have actually gone in the wall there to look for that gank, but it ended up not really mattering. I'll just clear this for fun. I don't know why. <laughs> Hopefully the Cleon is not around. She could definitely kill me walking back to lane here. If I, my dash is down, that is. Try and get to lane here and then ult the wave. And back. She really feels like she should have uh, range autos. I don't know. Something about her. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go Breastplate. Like I said, I'm trying more of like a pure tank build. I think I'll just go Breastplate, Bulwark, Pridwin or something. See how that feels. They have Paul on the enemy team. Oh, you know what I was gonna say the last game? The one thing, the other like downside, or I mean not a downside, but just weird thing about her is that she really feels like a mage, honestly. It's weird that you, have, you buy physical items on her and it's weird that you don't have range autos and you can't build stuff like Soul Gem. Like, I don't know. What do you guys think? She kind of feels like she's supposed to be a mage. Maybe it's because of the similarities to Morgan Le Fay, in my opinion, with the auto attacks, with the range on her three and stuff, and the movement speed, but I don't really know. Also, what I was going to say is since they have Paul and he's their magical dealer, I probably need to build more magical defense than usual just because, you know, it's Paul. Who is in right lane? <laughs> Enemies? I think it was overrun. 
think I'm definitely winning this right now. Make sure we hit our auto, stay in range with our mystical as well. It's big time. Alt the wave. Would have been nice to hit her as well, but it wasn't in the cards. I'll just go ahead and clear this next wave, why not? Hold that bad boy. Might be able to kill here. Hit the movement speed. No ability. Unfortunate. No problem. Just be a little bit careful. We're fine. The range on your dash is just so sick. Such a clean ability. Probably should be doing this this forp any time soon. For a gank here, maybe. Okay. Trying to hit them both plus the wave. Just the wave. That's okay. Got her all come back up in 15 as well, the second charge of it. Got some pressure, even though they have uh, two people in my lane, and now I can just do my blue and it should be fine. This guy really is spamming, isn't he? Shout out to the people in this lobby, by the way. They let me play the new god. I wasn't paying attention. They picked the new god. I asked if I could play it, and I think it was specifically Vio Sinclair. And then somebody else took it, and it was the honor, I think. Panic, please. But they, they let me play it, which is nice. Very kind of them. I went blink last time. I don't know if it actually really was that great. So we'll try something else this time. Like I said, I don't really think blink is the go-to on her. Um, we'll just go sprint. Even though maybe even something like, I don't know, Sunder would be really nice just to blow somebody up with a full tank build. But I think, uh, I think blink is probably not the play. Unless you're just full tank and you just want to be in the middle of everybody right away just to start the fight, kind of get in there, you know? Sometimes you don't have to have like a really good, like, Quick ability with CC or damage to be the best with Blink, but it definitely just isn't very straightforward with her. Like it's not obvious the go-to relic. They were on this, but Let's see if we can hit him with that. Nice, we're able to hit him. They're gonna ult the wave as well, but they messed up their dash. I might be able to kill here. Gonna do a lot of damage. They're gonna stay under the tower. I'm gonna sprint after him. Oh no! No way! I took that tower shot. Oh, dude, that minion was there, but uh, it's unfortunate. How much damage I take from tower? 900. Oh my goodness, that is most unfortunate. I think the uh, the warrior's axe helped a lot too. Stole some health from me at the end. Unfortunate. They're so tanky. Uh, like I said, I think it's because this character's base damage really isn't that insane. And it's kind of like you don't have an ult for actually trading. Because it's just so hard to actually guarantee. Even though I think I did end up hitting that in the wave plus hit her. But, you know, it's just like the beginning of it, not the actual whole thing. So definitely unfortunate, but no big deal. We're testing our limits here, of course. I think if I had the previous build with Sigil and uh, Jotun's with the 60 power, I definitely would have killed there. I actually hit everything, I just don't do damage. Even when you're like playing against this character, it feels like she should be a mage. I've already seen a few people say, oh, I, that character's uh, physical. That is kind of surprising. That's their TP. Go ahead and do this. I am still up 1.1k gold, so that's really good. Here's the Sharpie. Probably just go ult my wave. Looks like they ult to the wave as well. That screech is just intense, isn't it? Nice. 
we hit the two. It's really important to actually hit the two because it gives you all that extra movement speed, 25%. But then it also gives you the vision and... Canceled that because they used it after us. We have a lot of pressure on this way. We can probably get this tower. You guys see that? The three bug? That was what I was talking about. Just bug just now. I don't know why it does that. Pop this extra pot as well. Screw the wave like this. Keep our ults up for this fight. This is the cooldown on your second charge of your ult as well. So you can have, you know, two of them. Looks like there's actually a fight. Retreat. I step back, so no point. I'll just go ahead and back my bulwark as well. Actually, King Middle one. This guy's literally fighting World War II over here, and we're not helping. Nice. We have another charge of our ult. Ooh! That damage. Not too shabby, actually. Just in range with that. Nice. My name's not even Justin, and I was just in range. All right, I'm back in. Get our bulwark here. Like I said, I'm gonna go Pridwin next. Yeah, Pridwin. Give us the full CDR. Full tank. Give us a little bit more damage as well. Pridwin's just a really nice item. I think it got changed going into this patch, but it's still gonna be really good. Right over here. Hopefully Thames doesn't push that wave and then go to my blue. All right, we're good. They're on her is running into our phoenix. Okay. I think he was just farming and then was running because he was getting ganked. <laughs> like stroll on the map though, that's for sure. Get this totem, why not? This character actually is the ultimate totem getter if you just ult the totems. Maybe that's what will make revival in solo. Just ulting every totem. Another charge of our ult, see if these backs are up. Gotta be a little bit careful of Alluren coming over. We probably just, oh, I'm using right now. We should probably try and do this. They're all over there. Use my ult to DPS it. See, if they actually stay in the full duration of your ult, it, it does do some damage, so on objectives it kind of pops. to this minions from there. Nice. I'll get these backs as well. Can look for a gank mid or something. Should be okay. Got beads and sprint up. The elder and all that. A freaking brute minion. It's tough to kill. We have a gank right lane. I wonder if those things like uh, get you cuckoo rage. They probably do, or like they take mercury passive. Try and body block for the best stat. She's good anyway. No way they're actually going to real fire, right? No, they're just pushing left. Okay, what the? We'll be able to get this red. Unless that Thantos is at the back right now. If he does come in here, I'm just going to try and go on him. Oh. I'll go ahead and take this as well. Why not? I'm so close to my Pridwin. You don't get movement speed from hitting minions. That's something to keep in mind with the two. It has to be an enemy god. There is a Kepri here. I don't know if we want to chase him out forever, but... What? My two didn't go off! Literally three didn't immediately click two, and it like played a sound kind of, but it didn't actually play it or do it. Whatever. Somebody can take this. Just let my mystical hit these while I back. Get my Pridwin. Feeling pretty good now. Feeling pretty good. I still have that red buff for 70 seconds as well. That's pretty nice as... If I do say so myself, what kind of base? Maybe clear this right. Gold's not even up, so we probably shouldn't even be running over here, but whatever. Yes, we are. Group up. A 
We should just group up and attack them wherever they are on the map. So far the tank build is what okay, but I think anybody can kind of do well with the tank build from ahead. You can do okay at least. Does this guy have lifesteal? No, he doesn't, but he has Stone of Foul. Sheesh. Go into the wall here. We haven't really utilized that much this game. It gives you so much vision, I feel like, when you're in the wall. I literally saw somebody behind another wall with it. Only thing we need to be careful of right now is I'm going fire off this because we really are committing to this. Nice. Nice shot. Are they behind us? They're not going fire? Oh, he's there. Got a little Pridwin proc. No, don't go into the wall. Ah, uh, what a what an escape route. She's somewhere around here. Oh, she's still here. Okay. We'll be able to kill this person. Nice. Oh shit! There really is a Thantos here. Nice. Let's get this right. Tier 2. We get this plus a little bit more farm. We'll be level 20. Can get our upgraded bluestone, which is nice. Should probably back up. But we can hit him with the gank. I think this red's on the ground. I heard it, yeah. Try and ward for this on her since he's literally 1 HP. I'll ult there just to cut it off a little bit. That's my Pridman proc, though. I want to test some stuff with this character, see if there's any weird bugs with her going into walls. Because it is a new... Well, apart from Chernabog, but being able to run around inside the walls is definitely a new mechanic, you know? Yes, yeah, Stone of Foul Sigma. <laughs> I'm gonna back real quick. They could all in on fire right now. We have no vision. They have Olorun and an on her. Maybe I try Redstone actually. Let's try that. Give us some more pots as well. Give him attacks. A little bit of attack speed reduction, a little bit of attack speed for ourselves, which actually is pretty nice on an assassin since your autos hit pretty hard. So, might as well try it. Go to the wall here, see if I can catch somebody off in mid. I have a pretty proc for this boy. He's pretty tanky because it's Stone of Foul. Sprint that. Well, best at how did she insta die? The stone of foul is actually so tanky. Oh, nice silence. Wait, who did that? No, he didn't get silence. We hit that. Nice. We actually just freaking Janus ulted him there. Oh, what a block. That was a good block by that guy. Does it matter? Maybe if he beats this? Hit him with the silence. Oh, so low. Oh, Kepri just killed himself. No! Nice. The mystical finished him off. I have another Pridwin proc here, so I don't actually be, have to be too afraid. Where's this guy? He's up here. Could cut him off. Like I said, I have a Pridwin proc. My teammates aren't coming, though. Unfortunate. Enemy missing. You can't go into walls when you're below 25% HP, so that's something to keep in mind. You can't just have a get out of jail free card, kind of like that. <clears throat> Do they have anti heal? No, they don't. I think I'm going to go mail renewal last item. Give us a little bit of sustain. This character does not have any sustain in her kit. Go grab that. 
Ended up being a decent fight for us. I'm surprised we weren't able to kill a run, but this Stone of Power just pops off. They also, I think he had Diamond Arrow during that fight, so Diamond Arrow is so sick on Olorun because it gives you 80 basic attack damage, and that pops off with Olorun, especially with his two. The attack speed is insane. Can we ever just group up and do fire? On hers and right, so it would be a little bit, but... Silence that bad boy. Nice. Got some damage off. Get my redstone stacked up. No! What's he doing? Get my redstone stacked again, so I have some attack speed for this tower. Uh, this is... Just fuck, I'm just gonna ult this. Let's just commit to this. I'll do a lot of damage with my ults. Just burst fire, hit fire. Nice, that's good. Oh my god, that guy was like stuck. He's just gonna run up here. Dude, I keep doing that. It's actually so awkward. I don't think you should be able to click three again and cancel the three. I really think that's weird. It, I don't know. Maybe I just need to get used to it, but it feels so weird that I think he just back there, the other one. It feels so weird that he just insta cancels it. Like, if you spam it, look, it just insta cancels it. It's just not. I don't know. It's very weird. But I guess maybe I just take it used to, like I said. Try and grab our blue real quick, even though we don't really need it. I guess we have it for the mana sustain. Alright, on the way. Go push that right side Phoenix, far side Phoenix. Usually pretty good to default too. It's kind of the default play, default thing. Run out of base here, trying to group up with the squadron. I'm on my way, boys. Our Ganesh is in base though. We definitely don't want to fight without him. We need a 5v5 going. This is going to be a true test of how good uh, this character is a frontliner. Sieging. It's very hard to do if you're not... Uh, a frontliner that's really strong. You need to be able to buy space, not die. Be able to get out if you need to. Well, that's Baba ult down. That's kind of unfortunate. Got a little Pribbon proc here. I'm just using my ult to zone a little bit. Get another one off. Didn't quite hit anybody with that, but... I'm trying to get us some space so we can actually walk up and hit the Phoenix, but nobody's really hitting it. That's his ult. I'm gonna sprint my boys here, get him out of the Olorun ult. Unfortunately, we can't really punish the Olorun. There, I did it again. Got the redstone on both of them, but... We can still fight here. We're kind of just kiting. Using our FG sustain and getting our abilities off. We have minions now, so I don't let them tank. Oh, what a block. Beads that so I can get my one off. That should be the end of the game as well. I have my ult come back up, which does a lot of damage to the Titan. It's on her trolling. He's not going to keep it in place. <laughs> Never mind, he's not trolling. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> I was top damage. The on her took it there at the end. I feel like I bought a lot of space with my ults, like cutting them, doing like a little side, little intersection with them. And uh, I don't know, maybe we just couldn't play up. I think maybe somebody came on the side and cut them off and maybe play, made them play back. But either way, I think it wasn't too bad. That is one thing. Not having blink is sieging is harder because you can't like blink and make space as well. And it's really hard to siege into people and know what they're doing. Kind of like throwing out their AoE abilities, cutting you off, pushing you back, and slowing you down and everything. So, all in all, not too bad. That was a pretty good game. So, both games were pretty decent. We got a loss and a win, and uh, kind of got to see what Cleona is made of. See what she can do with a full tank build, more of a bruiser build. Kind of like, you know, with the sigil and 
you know some of the new meta items going on right now with Trifton and stuff so yeah I had a lot of fun I hope you guys enjoyed these two gameplays and um, let me know what you're you're purchasing on this character or how you're playing her she is very cool like I said very good release and very fun unique unlike Charybdis or Charybdis however you say your name so yeah um, I appreciate all of you and I'll see you guys in the next video stay safe and healthy as always peace out bye Thank you.